Dear friends, greetings from Portugal, from uh, Povo de Varzim. Uh, we are happy to be in uh, Sara's office. Sara, it's uh, first of all the wife of Pedro, then our good friend, then we may say a partner of Chess Parma, but more than all, all these uh, titles, she is a very, very good uh, pigeon vet. And this is the reason why we take this interview to talking a little bit about the pigeon's disease in general and about some disease in, in special. Uh, hello, Sarah, and thank you very much for hello. your time. Thank you. And uh, thank you to, uh, because you share with us your knowledge about pigeon's uh, disease. Tell me a little bit at the beginning, uh, in the last years, how, how is developing the disease of the pigeons? How you feel this this uh, uh, problem in general? Yeah. Um, hello. Uh, talk about this is uh, a little complicated because uh, it's not uh, a small question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's why I put one question and I, I may the, go to sleep and you speak to ours. <laughs> in the last years, uh, the the pigeon disease didn't change a lot, but complicated a lot. So uh, when the, the, the one loft race started in the last maybe 20 years growing, uh, the, the situations for racing, racing pigeons uh, start uh, complicated a little because uh, we have a lot of pigeons from different lofts together in one loft. This is a, a good idea in the, in the, in the, um, when we think that uh, all pigeons are in the same conditions, uh, but uh, to control the sanitary uh, condition is not very easy. Uh, we can have a lot of uh, strains of uh, bacteria and virus uh, that we cannot control all of them. Uh, if we are not uh, very close to the diseases because uh, you, in your loft you have a genetic um, combination or species of bacteria and uh, in my loft I have another one and we, when we combine together uh, we can make a new strain of bacteria and this can develop disease because some pigeons are not prepared to, to deal with the, this bacteria or virus. So uh, the problem is that when we put together a lot of genetic, uh, a, a different genetic bacteria and the virus together, and uh, we complicate the situations with uh, <laughs> this big family. Uh, I, I didn't know that the, duration, uh, the discussion will go in this direction. So you mean that the, the, this, this one of race who makes a lot of pigeons mm. can be a vector of a stronger disease, maybe not new disease, but stronger? Yes, because uh, in first uh, step, uh, they, uh, they put uh, many pigeons together from uh, uh, many lofts. And after that, they sold the pigeons, they sell the pigeons. And these pigeons that were all, all together, will turn to many other lofts. Mm -hmm. We have other combinations. New bacteria. Yes, other combinations of bacteria and virus. And uh, if uh, the new lofts are not prepared and uh, the pigeons are not uh, very, very healthy, a minima situation will be a complication uh, very, uh, very easy. Uh, very, very interesting. So a good thing Bring, bring always some bad things too. Yes, uh, the idea is good, but uh, is nice, but for even for uh, fanciers that don't have a lot of time and don't have money to 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 race maybe a, a, a long season. Uh, but uh, one of those are not uh, so cheaper <laughs> than. But uh, they can put them pigeons to 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 race. Uh, in same situations, but after that we have uh, many health problems, uh, many pigeons together. Uh, it's not easy to see one loft race with few losts. It's not easy. 
uh, because it's very difficult to control uh, sanitary situation. Uh, it's it's uh, we can we can control that, but it's not easy. After that, we have to, to put the pit in another lots. I saw and then we, we have a new problem. Hmm. Interesting. Um. And uh, one more situation: we have more and more uh, options, also. So the journeys in the world are always traveling, okay. moving, yes, easily. And uh, we moved from twenty or thirty years ago. To remove the pigeon was not so easy, and now you can you can uh, if we control how many pigeons travel in the world per day, it would be many. And then we have the races. With a lot of, yes, of, of course. Bites, yeah. a lot of pigeons which are losing and arrive in different lots. Yes. Because that's uh, really similar than, uh, yeah, yeah. than the, the selling yeah. of the transport yeah. of them. So we have a we have a, a real uh, impressive system of spreading disease and bacteria and, and viruses. Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> why why I say in the beginning that uh, the disease uh, they are not new diseases, but uh, diseases are complicated because of uh, these uh, factors. Based on this information, and then I will ask you about the diseases which are very interesting, many persons I'm sure will be. How we can avoid this, the problems? How, what we have to do? Because it's very complicated to don't import or don't buy any pigeon or don't get from a fan any pigeon in your lot 20 years from now uh, you need to improve your quality let's yeah. say in the meantime maybe you are fan of one of race and want to buy champions of one of race and uh, there's nobody safe yeah. how, how we can protect ourselves how, what, what do we have to do the first step is uh, have a lot a colony uh, in good health to receive these pigeons. The second step is uh, before to join the, the new pigeons to our colony, uh, uh, make a quarantine uh, with, same, with some treatments and vaccines, of course. How many days and what treatments vaccines you suggest? <laughs> How many days? Uh, <laughs> if we, we treat at least for Trichomonas, coccidial, and salmonella. I think with uh, the minimum, uh, you will need at least uh, two, three weeks. Okay, and uh, if you just make the vaccination after that, you will maybe you will need more three weeks because after vaccination you can uh, you can have uh, s uh, effects or. or for example, if you have a pigeon with a uh, hot virus, yeah. and if you vaccinate him with the, uh, the vaccine, the vaccine, yeah, uh, the pigeon, if he, if he was uh, already infected, he can show the signs after two or three weeks after vaccination. So, if you want to wait uh, until to join to your pigeons, maybe you need to to wait a minimal four or five weeks with the treatments and vaccination and Almost after six. vaccination. Yeah. Six. Six. So I think this is a, very good, a, a very, good, good very good advice. Uh, looking now back, uh, every time when I bring new pigeons in my lot, small pigeons, maybe not one or two, but sometimes I, I, I would buy or yes. I don't know, get from friends in summer out of 10 15 pigeons which is a lot for the British lot next year always i have problems but i never do this uh quarantine and so i think uh a very important advice for all of us in this period of quarantine so you say three commonas warm uh this can be done maybe with natural or you think only medicine to be sure for beginning, uh, only for with medicine. Only with medicine. Yeah. When you have, I think uh, the natural treatment uh, can be done and uh, will be quicker. Uh, 
I have to be the future for a long time. But uh, first, we need to have our colony control. Uh, medicines, not natural medicines. First, medicines. When you have a colony control, yes, you can maintain with uh, natural treatments. And uh, one more thing, if you uh, if you want to buy or add a new pigeon, the advice is, of course, in the beginning, maybe you need to put uh, many pigeons from some lofts or, yeah. or auctions or something like that. But after some years, uh, the best option is to introduce few pigeons, okay, for the, the colony to adapt to the situation. Uh, if you do that with a healthy control, you won't be, won't have uh, big problems. If you don't do that, you you have always big problems. And you speak about uh, salmonella. How we know to use the right antibiotics for salmonella? Uh, we just uh, know if we do a culture, uh, a, a bacterial culture. Uh, and if the culture is positive for salmonella, because sometimes we have fo uh, um, negative false. Uh, this means that uh, uh, the result is negative, but uh, is positive in, in, in fact. Yeah. Uh, because sometimes, uh, for, for, give, for we have a positive, uh, the pigeon uh, depends on the sample. If our feces, the pigeon have to be uh, making excre ex excretion of the, the salmonella in that time, in that period. If he is not doing, uh, we will have a negative and he can be a positive. You understand? So you think the best is the treatment with uh, But uh, the, the last uh, studies show that uh, enrofloxacin and uh, and amoxicillin are uh, in the moment the antibiotics that, that can resolve better, better but you can have a, um, a resistance in your loft we never know okay exactly. we never know what will work but we can we can try but we never know okay we just have sure if we have a positive culture uh, for we have uh, uh, a positive result, yeah. when we have more chance is when we have signs in the loft in the moment. Mm -hmm. So you have sick pigeons, you should make a culture, okay? Or feces, or if, if uh, some pigeon died, you can use uh, the, the organs, samples to do it. Uh, so my advice is when we are looking for a disease, always when the pigeons are sick, if they are showing health, uh, we more of uh, the most of times we don't find anything. Yeah, but we speak a little bit before the people about the pigeons which are coming in the loft, not about the ones we have at home mm -hmm. over here. So there uh, we can do some tests if we want, or if not, give a regular treatment for yes uh, someone apparatus. Yes, yes. I want asking you uh, uh, before. About aerofloxacin. Many years ago, a French chef from Holland, Dean Müller, told me that aerofloxacin is the last frontier. What do you think about this word? Is the last? Last frontier. It's so strong medicine, and after nothing working. It's any truth uh, in, in this? Uh, in the moment, aerofloxacin uh, is showing that uh, works a lot in a lot of uh, lofts. Um, is the medicine in this moment that work better for salmonella? But uh, we never can say that will work in our loft because the, the, the using and abusing, because sometimes people use and don't, don't need it and are uh, increasing the, the resistance to antibiotics. But we can say that is the, the, the antibiotic for salmonella that uh, is working better, but we cannot be sure that we will work in all, all lofts. That will, well, what, what do you, you can think say? about the using of aerofloxacin on the racing season? If they need it, it's okay. If but they without sign? Mm, I Just don't by, advise. Uh, feeling, uh, oh, maybe I need to treat some. No, no, I don't advise because. Uh, uh, I see a lot, a lot of Frenchers during the racing season that uh, tell me that sometimes once per year they they give 
two, three days of uh, end of obsession. Uh, and uh, when I ask them uh, about the results, oh yes, sometimes works, sometimes not, because people, the, the pigeons, one time they need and they, in the other time they didn't, they don't need it. So if the pigeons needed uh, uh, antibiotic, how we know they need it? What was the signs? Yeah, yeah but uh, if you don't have uh, uh, respiratory uh, signs. Uh, severe, severe respiratory signs. You mean or dirty noses? Yes. Uh, this stressful. is the signs we need to follow it. It's it's uh, uh, a type of signs that we can do it, <laughs> but how I say before, I can't be sure that will work because uh, could be a respiratory infection by uh, an a bacteria to re resistance to. To enrofloxacin, we yes. ne we never know. Uh, I, agree, I agree with but, that. But uh, if we don't have any signs, we do we don't we shouldn't use it for sure. I want to answer to the question of, of the people who don't know many 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 things. So first of all, without sign, we don't need treatment. No. And the signs we have to watch first is uh, breath, nose, yes. eyes. Or uh, gastro uh, gastro signs, uh, diarrhea. Diarrhea. Of course. So this is the moment when we should uh, react with medicine. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Of course, of course. If we are uh, talking about treatment of the coccidiosis, we couldn't. Uh, sometimes we don't have these signs, and we need to treat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but if we are talking just about uh, antibiotics, real antibiotics, yes, we, we, if you don't have signs, we don't need to treat. Good enough. You need to, to have good pigeons. Yes. First sure. step. <laughs> now I would like to speak a little bit about the disease who make, in my opinion, more and more problem. Uh, candida. Because, because of your uh, first question. Yeah. You understand now. If you don't have signs, you don't need to treat because the secondary effect most of times is uh, candida infections. I see cases when without any treatments, mm -hmm. candida is there yeah. and make problems. Why? Because candida is an opportunist um, microorganism and can develop in stressful situations. Like transport, uh, like uh, race, uh, breathing. Yes, with hood is also a stressful situation for pigeons. Uh, climate change, yes, temperature change, and uh, this type of situations could uh, also develop a candida infection. Who? Cool. But so uh, but but the most uh, problem is uh, secondary to antibiotic, antibiotic. treatment. Yes. And to antiparasites like trichomonas and so on, affected or not so much? Mm, could happen because uh, your um, flora of uh, gut flora, intestinal flora, um, could change because of the treatments. But uh, it's not easily, it's more common with antibiotic situation. Uh, what you what we know? can do against candida? If we can use uh, medicine, of course, um, but we also can use some uh, natural products to maintain. Uh, w one break, please, on this, to, to, to keep the, the people very updated. I'm very uh, focused on the candida since 2021. Mm -hmm. When I discovered in my lock, I didn't know what it is on the uh, tongue. tongue of the pigeon. I sent to, to Sarah and she helped me a lot to treat. I Till that moment, I never think about the candida. I say, oh, that's stupid. Some fungus mm -hmm. is not a big problem. And the result from 2021 in our lock was amazing. Uh, it's come even from the Sarah advices. And from Irina, from Romania, Irina Bonescu, she helped me with some advices too. But what I see, and I don't know if it's true or not, it's just what mm -hmm. I see. Same treatment next year, 
didn't act same. same. So each candida so quickly uh, adapting or uh, I don't was I, I don't feel it very well. What, what do you think? Uh, I don't think that uh, he uh, uh, kind of adapt uh, so quickly because uh, have been in the last I, I, I'm, I'm, I, this year was my 10th racing season uh, as a vet and uh, since I start I, I treat every year candida infections and uh, the medicines keep working so I don't believe maybe the feeling in that moment was, wasn't the same or could have other infections that uh, you didn't treat and uh, the pigeons didn't uh, improve so so well as you like it uh, yeah. because uh, during the racing season many times we have more than one infection uh, but we need to feel what infection is more important in that time uh, this is mm. the main uh, is what i like in my work is that like, sometimes I see I see lofts with uh, many problems and I need to choose what I will play now <laughs> because <laughs> what, what, what first? yeah because what is more important in this moment I know that sometimes I can uh, I can treat everything on the same time but I need uh, to feel what what uh, disease is uh, is making worse in this loft. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to, to see the signs in the loft and uh, treat first what uh, is uh, putting the, the pigeons down in that moment. And uh, for that I, I, I need to see the, the pigeons, I need to see the loft, I need to, to understand how pigeons are flying, are feeding and uh, putting together and thinking about and making a plan. It's the biggest uh, objective to, to do it, is complete the circle and understand what I will do at first. Thank you for the uh, for infos. So, Sarah, what we can do uh, to prevent this, to don't have to use a medicine? What are the possibilities to, to, to fight against mm -hmm. Candida with uh, other methods? Um, how I said before, uh, this is also uh, opportunist infection. So, um, how much I high is our immune system better for, for pigeons? And uh, uh, we can use uh, natural products to improve the immunity and uh, avoid this disease. Uh, something like bipolar, for example, is very important for that. Sanocest also. Uh, also has a, a very good effect uh, to that and even for treat with a natural uh, products we can use uh, for example propolis in our water that also has antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral anti uh, um, effect and uh, I also like to use together in combination tritonafida and tricolor because we know that has some components uh, uh, that could work uh, against uh, Candida and uh, together with Trico Natura that uh, say that work is against Trico Monazone Coxidium that if you, if you think that the, the mouth is clean uh, we also don't have substance to Candida develop mm -hmm. in, the, in the throat so it's very important to, to have a, a clean throat and a healthy feces. Uh, if you have that, you, you make sure, not sure, we never have 100% sure, but uh, we have uh, a better chance that uh, we won't have uh, these problems. Uh, these products are very important uh, to, to avoid uh, infection like that. You, you speak about the mouth uh, cleaning and so on. How is uh, yellow drops for that? Mm, also uh, a, a good one. Uh, we can also use in water, food, mm -hmm. or uh, direct in the, in the, tro in the throat, uh, in the mouth. 
um, of course, if you uh, sometimes I, I, I told fighters to in first in first uh, first time that uh, they use it, we put in the noise one drop in each noise, and uh, after some weeks we started to just one drop one drop in the mouth um, to continue and maintain the the throat uh, clean. Uh, for the, for we don't have a develop of uh, fungal infection, bacterial infection, and three common infection because all together are a big mix <laughs> uh, and a big problem. Uh, if we we always need to to have the bacteria and the fungal and the protozoa protozoa that are COVID and COVID. Uh, in uh, uh, low low levels uh, or few or nothing uh, to have a healthy treatment and these products we can do it with the natural of course it's always better you, you speak about propolis mm -hmm. uh, how often we can give propolis there is any risk to give it every day no. or i don't know uh, i don't see any risk i use so there's 100 a natural product so yes i already i already test with the spanish test or vitamina for example so but even in the clean water i'm thinking now it's easier to put 20 drops yes, in a liter yes, and yes. give One to the liter yes per, per liter and it's very easy and mix very well uh, uh, and we can have a let's say a healthy water yes of course yeah. always Always. Uh, now I think all of you understand why I consider Sara one of the best from the world in the, <laughs> in the mm -hmm. veterinary of the pigeons and treatment of the pigeons. And my advice for you is to contact her for any questions because she still has a little bit time to answer me. And I know that from my, my friends from uh, Italy, mm -hmm. from uh, Fanel, from uh, Spain, from uh, Dino and others who uh, work with you. Mm -hmm and uh, maybe you will be on the list of uh, <laughs> the <answers>. next one <laughs> <laughs> no 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 that's a serious uh, serious advice now uh, you will see soon the phone number and the mail of uh, of sara and you may contact her for for any questions it's not important if you live in australia or in north or south america in romania in russia or in africa or uh, Pakistan. Or Pakistan, Asia, doesn't matter. Uh, we have followers from all over the world, and it's important to get the right information from the informations from the right person. And Sara is one of the best. I may uh, confirm that. No, no, no. Uh, many, many times I, I call you or I text you by WhatsApp for you and Pedro, and sometimes she told me what I have in the in the, my loft and how the pigeons looks. So for me, it's how do you know from 3,000 kilometers <laughs> how it looks my pigeons when I, I describe you some something. So uh, that's why it's always a pleasure to talk with uh, with her, with Pedro, about pigeons uh, because she's very very uh, professional, very high level of knowledge, and it's a big help for me, for Chess Pharma, and for. Of course, for our friendship, like families. <laughs> Sara, thank you very much thank for you. sharing this uh, information. It's very useful. And uh, see you next time. See you. Bye bye. Bye.